Paul Wetzel. Hey, those clouds will be moving in tomorrow. So yeah, a lot of back and forth here this week, up and down temperatures. And it looks like we're going to go down this time before we go back up as we get into the weekend. Uh, this evening, though, it's uh, pretty nice out there. Clear skies, temperatures, well, currently in the low 50s. That's a normal high temperature for this time of the year. And as we look at your neighborhood this evening across eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania, a lot of 50s showing up. But we're starting to slide into the low 50s with these clear skies out there this evening. So I'm looking for the temperatures to drop on into the 40s this evening and then hold a little steady as we go into tomorrow morning as the next storm system approaches. But it's dry out there. No clouds to speak of currently. Uh, those are still way off to our northwest as the next storm system works its way through southern Canada, bringing in uh, those cooler temperatures with it. Now, here's the problem. As that cold air slides over top of the Great Lakes, including Lake Erie, uh, into tomorrow morning, it's going to bring the chance of some uh, lake effect showers. But it's still about 800 miles away from us to our northwest tonight, so it's going to be uh, a big part of the night before that coldest part of that system moves our way. So here's Future Tracker on into tomorrow morning. It's dry this evening, temperatures sliding into the 40s for us. Mid 40s to get things going early tomorrow morning. We'll have a little bump in temperatures early tomorrow. Tomorrow, and then the temperatures start falling. But as that cold air slides in, it's going to bring some showers with it. Here's a look at 6 o'clock in the morning as you head out to work or school for your Veterans Day. Uh, if you, if of course, uh, some areas are closed uh, due to the holiday tomorrow. But temperatures by noon, uh, looking at the chance of showers around uh, through midday and then into the afternoon. That's what I'm expecting that risk of showers to fall apart for us. And skies clear on out just in time for those temperatures to slide on down on into tomorrow night. In fact, it's going to be cold for your Friday night. Saturday morning starting in the upper 20. So uh, definitely a cold start to the weekend. Here's the good news, though. I'm looking for a lot of sunshine around on Saturday. We'll have some high clouds trying to slide by through noon. Maybe you're heading out to the YSU game. It looks like temperatures are sitting in the mid 40s here uh, through the day and only climbing into the upper 40s. But don't worry, the 50s return by Sunday. 45 tonight, clouds thicken up toward morning. Small chance of a shower uh, first thing tomorrow and then tapering off into the afternoon. Now, again, that high temperatures early in the day and then starting to fall uh, through the day right on into your Friday night. Saturday's high, 48 degrees, partly to mostly sunny skies. Sunday, nice sunshine around, too. Uh, looking at temperatures back in the low 50s. And a big part of that extended forecast looks dry next week. Mid 50s on Monday, low 50s on Tuesday, low 50s Wednesday and Thursday. Small chance of showers and they, late next Tuesday into Wednesday. So a pretty dry looking overall seven day forecast and small chance of showers tomorrow. And then again on Wednesday. I know my kid's not the only one that likes to crunch through the leaves and <laughs> oh. when they're wet, it's not as fun. It right? is. So they're really nice crunchy right now. They though. Are. It's great. Mulching <laughs> some in with the grass yeah. a little earlier. All yep. right. Thanks, Paul.